ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. It's so good. There you have it, my friends, the mighty mini egg cheesecake. And I want to eat it so bad, but I can't because it's my mother's birthday, my grandmother's birthday, my niece's birthday, my brother got married this month, so I have a whole bunch of people to share it with. But I can tell you it's going to be delicious. Benza. I love... Wait. Do you hear that? Benza. One second. Benza. What do you want? Calm down, calm down. Just want to know what you're making. Pat, I'm not making Jamaican. I'm making Irish. Actually, it's pretty good. It's a lamb shepherd's pie with the creamy roasted potatoes on top. I can't. I'm not eating carbs. I don't care. Well, <laughs> get off the grass, Pat, and clean up your coins. I learned a long time ago that you can't choose your neighbors. The best part is, is it's cheesy and it's baked, so you get some really nice crispy bits, and then the pasta's nice and soft. Look at that. It's all stuffed, hot and steamy. There's scallops, there's prawns. It's so good. <laughs> Bollywood dumplings. Okay, so I've never been to India, but I love the music and I love the food, and that's a great thing about cooking because you can bring different cultures into your homes. Alabama Slammerish. Looks great, right? That is delicious. Honest to goodness. You know, whenever I have one of these, I always remind myself, if you don't know who I am, how do I know who you are? Okay, it's not that strong, but it's super delicious. I like a little bit of marble, a little white, a little cheddar. And uh, this is my dad's favorite part of making enchiladas because he always puts on way too much cheese, but man, is it good. <laughs> he just stands over it and picks at the cheese. He got a smile on his face, he got cheddar in his mustache, can't hear anything, dogs barking, the alarm's going off, but he's happy. <laughs> These pack hunters travel together in families and have a bond that lasts years. But when pan fried with oregano and garlic, the flesh is simply sublime. These are my all-time decadent strawberry cheesecake pancakes. You're gonna do what? Strawberry cheesecake pancakes. Parents love them. Kids can't get enough of them. The worst part is, Every Sunday morning, you're gonna have the neighbor's kid's sticky Cindy's face plastered to the siding glass window saying, Did you make pancakes again? Get in here, Cindy, take your mom's flip-flops off. <laughs> hey, everybody knows a sticky Cindy. The one I know is 49 years old, drinks whiskey on Tuesday, and is emotionally unavailable. Okay. So those are all the hard parts done and now it's time to assemble it. This is the endive. Belgian endive, they're nice and crunchy. They're also known as Witloof chicory. 
It also sounds like an out of work racehorse. Whitloof Trickery trailing the pack by a long shot. Looks like he's eating a Subway sandwich and has stopped running completely. Actually, he's laying down. Whitloop Chicory, I think, just died. Anyway, it sounds like a racehorse, but these things are really cool and easy to clean. So there's a butt end on it. I just cut it off, and then you can peel uh, the end eyes out, and they make perfect little boats. So you're probably asking yourself, what'd you do? Well, number one, I got myself a cinematic quality video crew. Today, we're celebrating the mighty egg. Dude, can you shoot the egg? Does, does, it, does that camera shoot video? Hey, dude. We're rolling, let's go. It really, is this the best we got? Number two, epic drone shots. It's not working! I can't stop it! I can't stop it! And number three, I have hired a social media ninja. Super talented, super motivated, so all of you guys are connected. Hello, operator, yes. I'm uh, looking for the Facebook. Oh. So everybody, get your dancing shoes on. Get your car wheeling pants on. And let's do this. I'm Chef Spencer Watts, and this is another short story. In the middle of nowhere. So I was a little kid, uh, as <laughs> I haven't always been this age, and when I was really little, it was hot out in the summer, so I was just in my diaper, and I had found a fork. And what I did, I decided to go up to a wall plug and go, what could that be? And, <laughs> and flames shot up my back, my diaper caught on fire, my eyebrows singed, and the power of the house just went. <clears throat> it's really good. The brown one's like really nice and sweet and cocoa-y, and the one's kind of like fiery and spicy. Wait a minute. We'll be right back after this message. Hi y'all, welcome back to my kids and I want to tell you about something that's revolutionized my life and when every time I need to eat something, I always have a problem getting the food into my mouth. That's why I want to introduce to you the Spencer Watts Patent Fork. You can stab it, put it right in your mouth, and it makes eating real easy. Now you know we can't do this all day, but if you call now, we're gonna give you a second fork. You and a friend can eat together, you don't have to share them anymore, and it makes it so easy to get the food into your mouth. The food goes into your mouth, goes into your body, your body's happy, and so is your friend, but we're gonna give you two forks. <laughs> Call now, do it. The number's on the bottom, 743. Three numbers, hit it, two forks. <laughs> 